today we're going to be taking a look at the best hitch options for your 2007 Nissan Frontier. So up top here we're going to have our draw tight class 3 hitch, then right below that we're going to have our e-trailer class 3 hitch, and then finally below that we're going to have our Kurt class 3 hitch. If I was looking for a hitch for my Frontier, I would probably go with the draw tight for a few different reasons. It is going to have an increased tongue weight, which can be nice for a few different accessories we might want, or just a heavier trailer, as well as some minor differences that it'll have over the two e-trailer and the Kurt. So let's take a closer look at all the differences between them. Our draw tight is going to have the highest tongue weight at 750 pounds and a gross trailer weight rating of 5,000 pounds. Now our e-trailer hitch is going to have a 500 pound tongue weight along with a 5,000 pound gross trailer weight rating, which is going to be the same as our Kurt hitch. All three of our hitches are rated for use with weight distribution systems, and the rating is going to be the same when we're using it. We're going to have an 800 pound tongue weight along with an 8,000 pound gross trailer weight rating. Now with all of those numbers in mind, you should always double check your Nissan's owner's manual and make sure you don't exceed the manufacturer's recommended weight. One thing the draw tight is going to have that the other two are not is going to be this secondary hole towards the back of our receiver tube. That's going to be used for the J-pin stabilization device. And the way that's going to work is we're going to have the threaded section go in just like a normal hitch pin, but then there's going to be a small hook that's going to go into that secondary hole. And we'll have a nut that's going to secure that pin down. And what it's going to do is it's actually going to apply pressure to our accessory and keep it from rattling around. And it also is a locking device, so it's going to keep all of our accessories nice and safe. While the J-pin stabilization device is not included with our hitch, you can find this and other hitch locks that will work with all three of our hitches here at eTrailer.com. All three of our hitches are going to accept the industry standard 5 ace pin and clip. And again, none of our hitches are going to include the pin or clip, but you can pick some up here at eTrailer.com. Another thing DrawTide has done is they've welded this bracket onto the cross tube just to the outside towards the driver's side of our receiver tube. That way we can mount any kind of electrical accessory and be ready for whenever we're ready to tow. And that's just one less accessory that we'll have to buy to mount our electrical sockets because with our e-trailer and our Kurt hitch we still can, but we'll have to buy a separate bracket. Now the one downside that I don't like about our draw tight is the safety chain connection points. They're going to be a plate style kind of angled on the side of the receiver tube. And you can see there's kind of a large flange here. So if we have some smaller hooks like here, it may be a little bit of trouble trying to get those in place around there. Whereas with the e-trailer and the Kurt, they're both going to have a loop style. They're going to be completely open and extremely easy to hook on and take off. And the last major difference is going to be appearance. Our draw tight is going to have somewhat of an in-between, a flat and a gloss. It's going to be kind of a semi-gloss finish. Our e-trailer hitch is going to have a carbide, almost flat black finish to it which I really like, kind of blends in with all the plastic that typically is on our trucks. And then finally at the bottom, you're going to have your Kurt, and that's going to have your really high gloss black finish, which is really typical of most hitches. Now, as far as the installation goes, all three of our hitches are going to install identically. We're not going to have to cut or drill anything, and we're going to use three factory mounting holes that are already existing in our frame. So to sum everything up, if weight capacity is your biggest concern when looking for a hitch, I would definitely go with the draw tight because it is going to have an increased tongue weight capacity. As far as ease of installation goes, I think they're all going to be on par with each other because they are going to use all factory mounting holes and install exactly the same. Now as far as appearance goes, that's really going to come down to which finish you like the most. Again, the draw tight having kind of that satin look, the e-trailer being a flat black, and the Kurt having a high gloss finish. If you're looking for a hitch that has a lot of built-in features, the draw tight's going to take it here because of that extra pinhole for our J-pin stabilization device and the wiring bracket being built into it. That'll finish up the look at the best hitch options for your Nissan Frontier.